No. That looks a bit spooky if you ask me, Paul. Woo! What an absolutely fabulous night Eurovision has been. Congratulations to Nemo with the code. We will be seeing you in Switzerland next year. But Eurovision is not the only show that has been putting on a spectacular light display tonight. What? Oh no, we tonight are going in search of the Northern Lights. Let's start the show. Well, that's our house just over there. And I'm hoping that those are not the only colorful lights that we are going to see this evening. This is a really rare occasion, isn't it, Paul? Because we're not usually out this late. No, that's not what, <laughs> what I'm talking about. The Northern Lights, the Aurora Borealis. I've said that wrong. I'm very bad at pronouncing Aurora words like that. Borealis. Oh, well done, Paul. Yeah, they visited the UK on Friday night and I only read about it when it was too late. And I thought, I missed them. But there's another opportunity tonight. Now, we are in the southeast of England, so the likelihood of seeing them here is lower than in other parts. But it is a clear night. The sky is clear. I can see lots of stars. But the trouble is, living in the sort of the outskirts of London, there's a lot of light pollution. And even in our backyard, where there aren't that many lights, it's difficult to get a good, decent look at the sky. Isn't that right, Paul? Yeah. But I do see some flashing lights ahead. I think it's just an aeroplane heading in for the, the last flight into Heathrow tonight. But we are going to take a little walk down the street and possibly down by the canal, we might get a better look at the night sky. Things are looking promising already, Paul. Did you see the moon over there? It's got a really orangey glow off it. Did you see? Yeah. Are you as excited as I am? I think. <laughs> I think you're more excited. Because the thing is, I mean, most people want to see the Northern Lights at one point in their life. And you have to sort of go to either the north of Norway or Iceland. to Iceland. And there's never any guarantee of seeing them. So the chance to see them in the UK, especially in the south, is extremely rare. So that's why we're out tonight. So we're walking up towards the canal. You've got the Royal Mail over there the depot. We've actually featured that on our show way back three years ago when we did an experiment about whether it took longer for a first class letter or a second class letter to reach us and they both arrived on the same day I think and we've done a few little bits up on the bridge up here over the canal before. Well there's no sign of the northern lights yet but there is this sign here which is rather colourful Look, I can see the moon over there again. It's got that really golden orangey glow off it. So we're here. This is the canal. Let's zoom in on the moon. We've got the canal down here. So it's just gone midnight and this was reckoned to be the best time that we could see the lights. So we're now looking down at the other side of the canal. There's nothing. Although I would say there's maybe a little bit of a glow. Down there. Yeah, over that side. But nothing spectacular. But you do get spectacular shadows though. Look at that. This is probably the darkest that we're going to get it. And again, the moon is the only sort of indicator that anything is slightly different tonight. Well, it looks as though that we've got a red light on the northern lights. But let's just have a little look at what they actually are. So the northern lights are caused by atoms with electric charges called charged particles. The lights appear when these charged particles are shot out from the sun and hit gases in the Earth's atmosphere. The two most common gases in the Earth's atmosphere are oxygen and nitrogen. Maybe it's a mirage, but I kind of think there is something over there. Well, we've just spoken to someone who just walked past and he said that 
he thinks it's maybe slightly too cloudy and also with the light pollution. But he said that um, they were spotted in Milton Keynes, which isn't that far away from here, maybe, no. what, 30, 40 miles mm. north of here. Oh, well, it looks as though we're not going to be <laughs> in luck tonight. So oh, there's only gosh. one thing left to say, isn't that right, Paul? Thanks for watching our YouTube channel today. For those of you that have liked it, hit the thumbs up. And for those of you that haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to leave a comment, that would be great as well. And also, if you would like to buy us a coffee, there is a link in the description. We don't drink coffee this late at night. But if I stay up much later, I'm going to need a double hit of caffeine I need to tomorrow. Sleep. All right, you go to sleep. I'm going to edit this and get the episode up straight away. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Regular episodes are back on Monday. See you then. Bye. He's off already. <laughs>